I'm Dr. Rod Shaw from Math Plus Academy, where we offer online live instruction, math enrichment for kids age 5 to 15. And this summer, we also have a bunch of really cool uh, online summer camps, including coding and video game design and things like that. But I'm here with today's math treat, which, as you can see, is called Last One Standing. And it's a game. And the goal of the game, as you can imagine, is to be the last one standing. And how does the game work? Well, you get some people together. In this case, I have seven. You all stand up, and then you follow one simple rule. Alternating people will sit down until there's one person left. I'll show you how it works. So we'll kind of go up, down, up, down, up, down as we go around the circle. We pick a person to start. Maybe I'll choose this person right here at the top, and off we go. So they say up, and they, they remain standing. The next person says down and has to sit down. Now, when you sit down, you are out of the round. That's it. You're no longer in the game. Then this person says up, so they get to stay up. Then we're at down. That person sits down. They're out. Up, down. This person is out. Up. And then we keep going around. So we were at up here. Now the first person has to sit down. They're out. Then we skip this person because they're not in the game. We go to up, skip, down, out, up skip all those, down, and you'll notice that we have one last person standing. That person is the winner of the game. So very simple game. Hopefully you can see how it works. And what I want you to do is, so very simple game. I think you can see how it works. You can imagine how it would work with different amounts of people. I want you to figure out for any number of people at the start of the game, let's say there are 17 people, where would you want to be so that you could win, be the last one standing, right? And so you might want to make these circles and start with the first person at the top being number one, let's say. And then go around and see what happens. See again, as always, if you can find some patterns, some structure to this thing, and come up with some sort of rule that would tell you no matter how many people show up to this game, where you want to stand to be the last one standing. So as always, I hope you enjoy the math treat. Just play around with it, see how far you can get, and just have fun with math.